Today I'm going to show you how to get to the coverage tab in the Chrome DevTools. So the first thing we need to know is how to get to the Chrome DevTools. You can right click just about anywhere on the page and choose inspect or you can use the keyboard shortcut Control shift c or Command shift c if you're on a Mac. So let's go ahead and do that. And this will open up this lovely pane here with the Chrome DevTools. Um, you can change where it's docked. It might by default be on the right. I like it at the bottom. But if you go to this little dot 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 menu, you can choose to undock it into a separate window, which will, will be super useful here in a minute. You can dock it to the left, bottom, right, wherever you like. To get to the coverage tab then, we can go to the more tools section here in the menu. And we'll see coverage near the top. And we'll click that. And now we have the coverage tab open. This isn't super useful yet because we got to reload the page to capture any information. And now you can see why we want to undock this sometimes into a separate window. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we can see things a bit more clearly. We have all of our JavaScript and CSS files down here, along with uh, usage information and a little bar graph to show you how much, um, which is quite handy. Red means unused, of course, and blue is used JavaScript or CSS code. At the moment, we mostly are interested in CSS, but this, of course, is obviously helpful for JavaScript too. So we can click this little uh, selector in the middle and choose what type of uh, files we want to see. And this will show us just our CSS files, of course. And if we click on one of them, we then get to see uh, the content of that CSS file. But we also have this lovely uh, indicator on the side for every single CSS rule to show us whether uh, this CSS rule is blue used or red unused. And this is specific to this page and what we are viewing right now. So if we scroll, this might change. But if you just leave it at the top of the page, this will be your critical CSS. It's the above the fold content and the CSS that applies to that. So that's very helpful for that. And so I recommend that you do this on the biggest screen you own, um, if that's your laptop or a desktop. Um, something like an iMac would be super huge, maybe not necessary, but at least like a, a 720 or 1080p screen. And then you can also uh, use the device toolbar right over here. If you click on that, and that allows you to change to various uh, screen sizes for mobile phones or even tablets, like an iPad. So it's usually only necessary to try it with one type of phone. Most of the phones are gonna have the same CSS, so you can choose any of those. And then if you reload the page again, the CSS uh, that is shown will be specific for mobile devices. So that is how you can check which CSS is necessary for different screen sizes. So hope that helps you and have a fantastic day.